Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy Nomzi, back at it with another big body banger. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to get your aim better in Call of Duty Warzone. Now, guys, please be aware that I am not the best player in the world, nor am I saying I'm the best player in the world. These are just tips and tricks that helped me get better in Call of Duty Warzone, and I just decided, you know what, let me share them because they might get underrated or they might just uh, get ignored by some people. So I just decided to shine some lights on these uh, training trials. Now before we start the video, please do me a favor and leave a like and subscribe down below. It really helps me out. And uh, let's just get started with the first gun course. Let all enemy targets conserve your ammo and avoid civilian casualties. Okay guys, so the very first gun course is close quarter weaponry, so this is like your SMG, shotguns, pistols. Now I didn't know if I wanted to go for speed or if I want to go for accuracy. So I just went with the MP7 and the 1911 pistol. I was going to pick up the M4A1, but I just changed my mind last minute. There you go, as you can see, picked up the MP7 and 1911 pistol. And I decided to start off with the, uh, the pistol. So as you can see, uh, I'm moving through the target quite quickly at a decent speed. I missed one of my shots only and I switched my gun to the MP7. Uh, still moving forward. Uh, the thing I enjoy about this is that there are some civilians so you know you have to carefully place the shots. Because if you hit a civilian you get time deducted and stuff like that. So as you can see, bottom left, uh, I'm at 27 seconds and I'm going for 40 seconds to get the maximum of stars. Okay, we're still moving forward. Uh, 35 seconds, we're about we're running out of time. 39, and we just passed 40 for the 1 seconds. Beautiful. Now we did actually get the 8 seconds because of our accuracy. We did quite well. We got a 53% accuracy, which is not bad for... Uh, SMGs and pistols and yeah let's move on to the next course if you want to get those numbers up go now ahead the and next reset. course is assault rifle weapons so these are your ak-47s m13s the fn scar i think it is yeah fn scar and as you can see the difference now with the starting pistol is that it's got a scope at least and yeah um i was having a hard time picking a weapon because i wasn't really that sure i was just like messing around here to see what scopes each weapon had and what how big the magazine was so i end up i do end up taking the ak-47 just uh took a better of took a bit of decision making but there you go took the ak-47 and we start as you can see i hit my two or three targets with very much ease i hit shot that one over the, the civilian okay we on to the third scene now and we still have 19 bullets in our gun we haven't missed that many shots Okay, we're still moving well, we're moving on to the 14, 12 bullets, 20 seconds, we're still moving well. Get those three, we melee him. This is our 14, I think it is, and we did that relatively quickly. Now, uh, we're about to need to reload our gun or change it, and I do change to the M13. As you can see, I changed to the M13. Final sweep of the enemies, and uh, we missed the better shots there, which cost us an accuracy. But we get a complete in 44.2 seconds, which is not bad. As you can see, 39.7 with 90% accuracy, which is amazing. Eliminate all enemy targets, conserve your ammo, and avoid civilian casualties. Now guys, the next gun course is by far my favorite one, simply because of the starting pistol, which is the 50GS. Now in my opinion, this is the best pistol in the game, hands down. Hands down, this is the best pistol in the game. I just like how it feels, the damage it does. Only thing I don't like about it is the magazine, which they uh, gave it in this gun course. It was a bit too little. Maybe 12 round magazine would have been a lot better, but hey, we moved through the teams relatively quickly. 16 seconds, we almost done with the course. Uh, we had to switch to our marksman rifle, we missed our shot. Third scene, 23 seconds in, get those three targets down. Uh, we decided to go for the left one. We had to reload our gun here, which slowed us down a lot. 31 seconds, and we're ending the scene here. Moving on to the next scene. Nice jump shot there. We missed our shot there, which uh, distracted us. Okay, we're still moving, we're still moving. Now it looks like we are about to reload our gun. Yes, we do. 
also wasted a lot of time and we finished the first game That's 52.6 seconds I do not know why I need to reload it I think we can do a lot better so let's uh, give it a more try 47 seconds I think we can do a lot better I really do think we can do a lot better 94% accuracy, 36 out of 36 target hits, no casualties uh, We do go on to the MK2 carbine I think it is yes, yes. We move on to the MK2 carbine with the 50GS pistol uh, Let's see how we do So let's go Okay now we are moving a bit slower simply because of the fire speed, fire rate of the gun uh, reloading is also a bit of an issue in this course because we're all constantly on one bullet. As you can see throughout the course, we're constantly on one bullet. I just add it. There you go. But I'm nice and accurate with this gun. I uh, hardly missed any of my shots. Now, I don't know how much damage this does in game, but uh, I'm sure if you hit the shots, you can actually kill quite a lot of people. Nice melee on that one. We missed our shots. We slowed us down a bit. Civilian got in the way, we're still moving. Now you can see still a one bullet. Okay, we loaded. We three. We missed our shot with one bullet. Again on one bullet constant. That's something that is uh, very hard to for me. But we are quite accurate. Merely the last one and Not we are bad. much slower than before. One minute. Worth 92% accuracy, so we did do quite a this one. Go so let's go reset. one more time and see how we do. I think we decide to go with the 357 and the 50GS pistol. And uh, yes, we do. Now, the 357 is much very nice pistol. It's very nice if you add some shots to it. Uh, I did make another video on it, so go check it out if you want to see the snake shot. Kimbo 357. Now we're still moving quite fast between the rounds, between the scenes with the 50 PS. As you can see, we're hardly missing our shots, we're moving fast, we're loading our guns. Now the next scene, I think it's the scene where we move on to the revolver, yes. The revolver is a nice gun because of the long range scope, so I didn't mind that. Uh, we're not getting nice gun shots, we a nice double kill there. Uh, 37 seconds last game, yeah, we kill those two, 43 seconds, 45.9 seconds, which you is the best we have ever done on this map, with 97% accuracy, final time is 40.3 seconds, absolutely beautiful, on to the next one. This is where you begin, identify and eliminate each target as efficiently as you can to trigger the next wave, eliminate all targets before time runs out. Now as you can see here, we are given an X50 sniper. Now this is my favorite weapon to use in the game simply because hitting a sniper is just satisfying. Uh, so we get a couple targets, easy double kill there, another kill. Uh, we missed our shots, but I don't know how. But uh, we're moving through the targets relatively quickly and we have time to lift. On to the next wave. Wave 2 added a bit of a moving target. Did not expect that, which is also the missing our first shot. Okay, but we uh, recover. We are slowing down a little bit just because we weren't doing it. But we finish in a decent time onto wave 3. Wave 3, uh, we get a nice triple kill at the start, which saves us a lot of time. And we have a hard time hitting the shots. Yes, we do. We had a really hard time at this distance. Idea you need to adjust the bullet drop. The further your bit. target, the more you'll have to come. And we move on to the next wave. Nice and easy. Now this is the final uh, wave of targets. We did have a hard time taking out that moving target here. But I think we finally took it right there and yes we do. And uh, there's one more target left after that. But the reloading slowed us down by a lot. And there we well go. Done, we got we did well one star. Oh, uh, we didn't do that bad. I mean 2,962 points. We we're aiming for 3,000, so close to 3,000. I think we should go for another The challenge is reset. You do. can do better. Okay, so we're moving on to the next one. Uh, okay, again, we're getting easy, non moving targets. We missed our targets somehow. Waste your time. Had to slow down there. 
And uh, the reloading really messed us up. If we hit every shot day, we would not have to reload. On to the next wave, we really did bad in that first one. Alright guys, so moving on to the next wave, I already knew that uh, they were moving targets. So I did line up some shots so that I could easily hit the targets. I did unfortunately miss this shot twice, which resulted in me reloading my gun and wasting so much time. But I do eventually get the shots, and there it is. On to the next wave. Alright guys, now the next wave, I already knew that they were moving targets again. I did manage to get a double kill here, as you can see, beautiful shots. Uh, now, this was a fairly easy wave, I did clear out the targets in a decent speed, beautiful performance. Now the final wave, I didn't do as well here, I did actually end up missing one of the shots. Uh, but I had a hard time here because I don't know, I'm not aware of the, the bullet drop in the game. So that's something I still need to work on. But uh, I'm moving through the targets in a decent speed, but this is the target that I just could not hit, I have no idea why. The vertical moving target was a very, very difficult target. Waste your time. Aim and fire. Good, you passed. You'll have to work for more than this. Now that is not a bad attempt. Two thousand nine hundred sixty-two points. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, now guys, if you did enjoy the video and did find it useful, please do me a favor and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any other videos. And feel free to leave a comment if it did help you out or if you know of any other ways to help people improve in quality of the world. Throw that out the way, stay safe, stay fresh, stay cozy.